And we are back with uh, entry number six for the latest album from K Trinata called Bubba. Now, I haven't really listened to a lot of this artist's uh, individual work, like work, you know, that is listed specifically under his name. I've I've heard all the hype behind uh, his last album, 99.9%, but I feel like I've definitely heard some of his production work behind, uh, I believe it was Danny Brown's last album, I think that was it? But yeah, it has a lot of like elements of a lot of house, but it mixes it with hip hop in a very unique way, and it's it it manages to make it sound very natural, very bouncy, and it's it's very summery in a sense, which is kind of why I'm surprised it was released in what was it December. And, you know, I feel like it would have fit a lot better, you know, within a warmer climate. Uh, especially with songs like, uh, Need It with, uh, Masego, and, oh, uh, oh, what was it, 10% with, uh, Caliuchis? But, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed this record a fair bit. I'll say it's very consistent without, it's a very consistent mood of just very bouncy, but also very low-key, just, uh, R&B and, uh, hip house music. I will say this album ends on a really weird note with midsection featuring Pharrell. Like, it, it definitely sounds like more of Pharrell's work than something of, uh, K. Trinata's, uh, signature. But I, I guess that's kind of, I, I guess he realizes that too, considering that the song ends with like a 40 second snippet of a completely separate song, which, you know, I feel like it ties the record together, but you know, it, midsection is a weird way to go out, especially like, it, like if there's one thing that I, 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 I'm, I'm rambling too much about this, but, you know, it's just a very consistent, very, it has a very consistent tempo to it, too, which makes it a little bit hard to really differentiate a lot of the songs from one another, but, again, I think it's more of a, well, I would say it fits really well con thinking of it more as, like, a playlist rather than necessarily an album of some sorts, like, just imagining all of these songs that, you know, most of them are with, you know, K. Trinata, but also, I, I don't know, a lot of it seems to also feel like it's influenced, I don't know, for some reason I keep getting Flying Lotus vibes from this, but I, I know that's not really necessarily true, uh, although some of the more jazzier elements do fall into this record, but uh, overall, I'd say it's not that bad of a listen. Check it out if you... I, I feel like it works best as something to throw in the background of, like, a party in the summertime. And, yeah, really, that's all I have to say about this record. Uh, it, yeah, it's pretty good. But overall, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have a different opinion, I would love to hear it. You can put it down in the comments section. I'd love to get a discussion going about this record. That's what I'm all here for. And if you want to continue with this journey to listen to a new album every day, uh, you can uh, like and subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. This has been Pardon the Memes. I'll see you tomorrow.